Hello everybody and welcome to your 14th C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial using uh, XNA Game Studio 4.0 and uh, in this uh, in this tutorial we're going to be um, talking more about uh, the input manager uh, class so uh, th the problem that we, we, we found out with the input manager class uh, well I never told you about the problem well this is a problem Okay, remember how in the input manager that we made the regular key pressed uh, commands that were for single input? Well, the problem is that whenever we switch greens, we always create a new input manager. So if I was to use a separate, uh, for example, let's let's look at splash screen for I mean title screen for example, and let us uh, call uh, input manager uh, dot update, and let's do it for say input manager dot key pressed and uh, they press it on the Z key just like the um, the other key now normally since it, since we're holding the Z key down normally that uh, it would work right but the, the, the um, it wouldn't it wouldn't repeat the same thing over and over again because we're holding the Z key down right but the reason why it keeps on transitioning is because every single new screen we go to we're using a new input manager oh and, and before i forget uh if we go to game screen.cs uh, don't forget to put in the unload content uh we should put input manager equals null and we should cl clear the attributes uh should set that clear and the contents clear Okay, but anyways, the, we're we're loading a brand new input manager. So for the, from the previous screen to this screen, it doesn't know what uh, what we held down in the last screen, and therefore we can run into problems, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an input manager in our parameter, okay? And we're gonna say uh, this input manager is equal to input manager. Okay, so now we gotta go to our screen manager dot h. I mean, sorry, I keep on saying dot h is because of um I'm used to C plus plus, but anyways, uh, we're going to create uh, input manager instance, and we're going to in our initialize or load content. I don't know if you can hear that thunder, but it's thunder and lightning outside. Anyways. We're gonna put input manager, and we're gonna have that in there. And for our current screen, so yeah, for right here, uh, it takes in an input manager, so we have to put the input manager in there. So for our add screen now, now we gotta add in one more parameter, okay? So we gotta say input manager, input manager, and uh, we're going to say that these our screen this input manager is equal to input manager and we got to do the same for here so we'll put input manager input manager and we'll say that this input manager is equal to input manager Okay, so uh, there's gonna be a lot of things we're gonna have to change in this program. Uh, but when we load the content, what we're gonna put in is this input manager. So the input manager for that. So what is this gonna do? So it's gonna copy the input that we had from the, the from the last screen. So whether if we were holding down the Z key on the splash screen, then it means that we were and we're still holding it. Then it will continue holding it in the title screen, and therefore it won't do continuous input like like so. So what we got to do is we got to every single time we, we do add screen we got to add in our input manager that we're using, right? And but since every single screen comes um with the input manager, even if you didn't use an input manager, you can still pass in the argument. Okay? So uh for our load content, we got to change all of these. So we got to say input manager and got to put our input in there. Uh, change these in the title in the title screen dot cs and you should see these all at the bottom uh during an error list you should see all the uh different types oh I got it 
change that. Oh yeah, start timer. I don't even know why I had this in there. I think I had a purpose, but we're not using it. Uh, so we can get rid of that. It says key state is never used. Yeah, since we this is splash screen.cs, so we don't need this anymore, so we can get rid of that. And same for entitled screen.cs. Okay, so now let's try to run this again. So now let's try to, to run the same um, program again. And now I'm gonna hold down Z. So now that when we get to title screen, it's treating it still as a single input. So now I have to let go, press Z again for it to fade out. So that is it for the tutorial. It was a really short tutorial. Not sure what we're gonna learn. Uh, we, we probably were gonna create uh, the menus for the title screen in the next tutorial. But I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching and bye.